Hey, what is going on guys? Lon here from Android Authority and HTC is trying to reimagine and change the way we take photos, but have they succeeded and will people buy into it? Well, that's what we're here to find out with the HTC Re. So you've probably heard all the jokes by now that the Re looks like an inhaler or a kitchen sink faucet, but that is honestly the best way to describe it. The design, however, is pretty ergonomic and taking photos and videos with it feels quite natural, even if it does look a little silly. It's small and lightweight, so it's very comfortable in the hand and the compact size makes it fit pretty easily in a pocket or bag. The Re is mostly made of plastic, so you might think it feels a little bit like a toy, but it's very sturdy and with how small it is, you shouldn't have any problems with dropping or damaging it. Taking a tour around the Re, you'll find a big shiny silver button on the back that serves as your shutter button with an LED light built in, letting you know how much charge is left. It also flashes red when taking photos or videos and blue for slow motion video. On the front is obviously the 16 megapixel sensor, which we will get into, but underneath that sensor is a slow motion switch for recording slow motion video, and further below that is another LED indicator for those selfie moments and a speaker. On top of the Re is a single microphone and along the bottom is your micro USB port for charging and the micro SD slot that supports up to 128 gigs. The slot is covered by a flap to help keep the Re dust and water resistant with a rating of IP57, which means it is protected for up to one meter for 30 minutes in fresh and seawater. There's also a standard quarter inch tripod connection, so you should be able to mount it on most tripods for more stable photo and video, but you'll wanna be careful not to over tighten the reed to a tripod because with the plastic threads, it can easily be broken. Setting up the Re is a fairly simple process and takes maybe a minute or two. Once you've downloaded the app, whether it's through Google Play or the iOS App Store, just follow the on-screen prompts to connect your Re. You'll also want to make sure your Re is charged and Bluetooth is turned on before doing so. Once connected, you are now ready to start taking photos and videos, but before we get into that, let's take a closer look at the Re app because there's a lot you can do here. Besides viewing, sharing, or deleting your photos, the Re app also serves as a viewfinder that lets you remotely control the Re for taking photos, videos, and even time lapses. The viewfinder is extremely useful for framing your shots and being able to remotely control the Re means you don't have to exclude yourself from group photos. You'll also find various camera settings like video resolution, photo resolution, an on-off toggle for ultra wide angle, and the ability to back up your photos to your phone, Dropbox, or Google Drive. The app also integrates with HTC's Zoe app, so if you like Zoe's, you can create them with photos taken with your Re. The star of the show and what everyone wants to know about is the camera sensor itself. So it's a 16 megapixel CMOS sensor and it's an ultra wide angle lens at 146 degrees, meaning you'll be able to fit a lot into a single shot. The camera defaults to 12 megapixels, so you wanna change that in the camera settings to take advantage of all 16 megapixels. You are, however, limited to a four by three aspect ratio when shooting at full resolution, which seems to be the trend with a lot of cameras these days that I'm not particularly a fan of. The best part about the Re is that it does all the heavy lifting for you, meaning all you have to do is point and shoot, and for such a tiny pocketable camera, the picture quality is really impressive. The focus is always spot on, so photos are very sharp, colors are vibrant, and this camera has excellent dynamic range. Even in harsh sunlight, the camera does a fantastic job of handling exposure, so you're always getting a well-balanced and detailed shot. Without OAS and an aperture of only f2.8, low light performance isn't the best. Uh, the photos certainly are usable, but there is a noticeable amount of noise and details are very soft. One of the most important things when it comes to cameras that a lot of people don't really talk about is being able to shoot with confidence. And in order to do that, you need a camera that is capable of taking some high quality photos. Uh, and that's even more important with something like the Re because you're not relying on a viewfinder the majority of the time. But with the 146 degree wide angle lens, you don't really need a viewfinder. So basically, as long as you aim it where you wanna take a photo, I would say that 95% of the time, the photo will come out exactly the way that you want it. The 1080p video on the Re isn't quite as good as its picture quality. It's good enough for quick clips or vlogging, but the digital stabilization doesn't work all that well. So videos look pretty shaky, even if you're just walking. On the plus side, the microphone does a decent job of picking up audio.
You can also create time lapses and slow motion video at 720p. I personally like the time lapse feature. It's really fun to use, but the slow motion video doesn't look quite as smooth and dramatic like other devices capable of slow motion video. Since this is a device that somewhat relies on your phone and is going to serve as a companion device, you would hope that the battery lasts a really long time on a single charge. And with the 820 milliamp hour battery, I would say the battery life is really respectable. Uh, so HTC claims that you can get up to 1200 photos on a single charge and up to an hour and 40 minutes of continuous video. And while I wasn't necessarily able to test the accuracy of this claim, frankly, because 1200 photos is a lot of freaking photos. Uh, what I can say though, is that I never had a problem with running out of battery when it came to taking photos. Even if I were to take a hundred photos within a day, it didn't even make the slightest dent in the battery. So it really takes a lot to drain the re just by taking photos. Uh, videos on the other hand will require you to charge the re on a daily basis and possibly even more depending on how often you record video. Like if you're a vlogger or something like that. I did find the standby time to be really impressive. Uh, if I didn't use it very often, it would last me a week on a single charge. So overall, I've been really satisfied with the battery life on the Re. You can pick up the HTC Re now through online retailers like Amazon and stores like Best Buy for $200. Uh, but as much as I like the Re, I do think the price is a little bit steep. Uh, and if you already have a smartphone that's capable of taking great looking photos, you probably won't feel too compelled to buy it but it does have other advantages besides just taking great looking photos. You can take photos with it a lot faster than you can on your smartphone. Uh, you can create time-lapse video and you can also use it underwater. But even with those advantages, I would still wait for it to go on sale. But if you do buy it for the full $200, I don't think you will regret it. But that is gonna do it for the HTC Re. It's a very small, pocketable, and portable camera that really simplifies the photo taking experience. And it's a lot of fun to use. And this is obviously another attempt by HTC to branch outside of the smartphone market. And they have a really great product on their hands, but for the price, it's not exactly an impulse buy. So they have a lot of convincing to do if they really want people to buy it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up down below. We definitely appreciate that. And also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our website for more in-depth coverage. You already know what it is, androidauthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android.